Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me over going over Q3 of the bi weekly contest 126. Replace question marks in string to minimize its value. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, leave a comment about your questions, and yeah, stay. And yeah, uh, for this one, to be honest, I, I, I took six minutes about it. Um, I the, the intuition is actually pretty quickly, to be honest, but um, at the time, there were many submissions and people didn't get it right yet. Um, so I was just like, you know, like, because when my initial idea is greedy, uh, and it is greedy, just, uh, you know, when my initial doing, uh, my initial idea during the contest was greedy, um, I had some doubts just because no one else did it yet. And if it was greedy, it should have been done very quickly. But in any case, I kind of just, I was like, okay. Um, at that time, I accepted that I will get a one wrong answer, but then I just kind of did the greedy way. And luckily, it was mostly right. I missed a small edge case, which we'll go over. Um, but yeah, but the idea is greedy. I think the, the way, to, there are multiple ways to do greedy incorrectly, however, so that may not solve it enough for you. But the idea here is that, okay, we have some question marks, and we want to, we want to just, you know, minimize the question marks, right? Um, the if everything is be before the question marks, it should be straightforward because you're just greedy. You just take the 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 lowest and uh, the earliest appearing alphabet that is the minimum value, right? That's pretty much the idea. But I think one edge case that you may forget and get a wrong answer on is that you have to also consider the stuff behind, right? So or, or maybe a you know this is a better example. Here you do not want this to be a Y because that means it makes this one. Um, you know, this gives that one a cost, so you actually want this to be F G H I, right? So yeah, I'll put it under it. So it doesn't. So I think that's edge case number one, or like a tricky case that you probably get a wrong answer, or like you, um, and and you'll notice and you'll fix it. The other one that I messed up is that um, is sorting. Um, so basically, the I, the I think the case that I might have it. Hmm, no. I mean, I, I got a wrong answer from this one, but you have A, B, C, D, da, 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 you have to, uh, and then X, Y, question mark, question mark, right? So this one, um, what what I did was that I replaced this with Z and A in a greedy way, but keeping in mind that you, have, you want to be less lexicographically smallest or, or earliest, so even though this is Z and A, you actually want this to be A and Z, oops, A and Z, even, you know, it breaks the song, you know, you can't sing anymore, but but it's more correct, so yeah. And this is the case that I missed. So we'll go over how I resolve both of these things. Um, but yeah, there are definitely multiple ways to do this. I'm not saying that this is... You probably could do this even cleaner, to be honest. But I just... I don't know. That, you know, contest code, you know? But uh, And, you know, at some point, you're probably just trading uh, O of N log... Um, a or alpha for alphabet for other stuff, so I don't know. But yeah, but basically I put everything in a heap. I count the number of things in there already, and then for everything in A to Z, I put it push in the heap. Uh, yeah. And then, I, I'll move this end up down here so it's more local. But yeah, uh, but then now, I just, I guess this is a little bit awkward to be honest, the way that I, I notice this now, because you can actually just count the number of question marks, right? So yeah, I, I, I if you watch the live portion, I kind of structured this initially in um, in a different way, which is why I got that wrong answer. But yeah, you could have just done like for s for for do, 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 right? Maybe that count of question mark, and then for question mark, we could have done this, and then you know that would be the same thing. The idea here is that you can, for each question mark, you pop the one off the heap. And then you push one back in so that you always get the min. And keeping in mind that the tiebreaker is the second element, which means it'll give you the lexicographically earliest one if there's a, a tiebreaker uh, on the count. Yeah, so then now we put it in, in this thing Q. And again, this probably could have been a, a, a lookup table, a hash table or whatever. And then you could kind of like do other code. But I was kind of just like rushing a little bit. So I was like, okay, we could just sort it. So this sorting is actually kind of expensive, um, but it is what it is. 
And then I put it on a deck just because so that I could use Q that pop left without counting indexes. And then now just put everything back together. Um, yeah, if, every time we get a question mark, we just take the first thing off the queue, which is sorted, uh, and it should have zero elements at the end. And then at else, you just return, or not return, but you just append the other character and then put everything back together at the end. And that's it. Uh, I'll also just, because I did modify the code. Uh, oops. Doesn't this return int? Oh, 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 I'm an idiot. Okay. That's why I wanted one it real quick. Huh. All right. Um, yeah, let's give it some. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so let's go over the complexity real quick and I'll go over some things that yeah, you, you should do at home uh, and not the way that I did it, right? So this is O of N, time and space. This is going to be O of um, A for alpha uh, log A, right? Uh, where A is the size of the alphabet, in this case, 26. Um, yeah, and then here, this is because number of question mark could be at least at most n, so this is going to be n log a, right? Each one of these is, is a log a operation, so this is n log a. Uh, this is n log n because q can have at most n elements. Um, and then now, everything after that is just linear. This is linear, time, and space, right? Uh, or like for this part, sorry, not in total because as you can see, right? So then in total, uh, let me write it here. In total, it, uh, maybe about this is confusing, but yeah, in total, this is just all of uh, n log n plus n log a plus a log a. It's a little bit awkward for sure, but uh, but yeah, that's the time. Um, and space is just gonna be n plus a, right? But yeah, but this can be like I said, reduced. Like if, if instead of sorting, you use some kind of uh. Uh, what you call it? A uh, uh, radix or bucket sort, something like this, some linear sorting, because you only have 26 things, then you can reduce this to O of A, maybe, uh, O of A type sorting, right? Uh, and then in that case, you can just delete this because it gets dominated by stuff like this, right? Um, but yeah, but I think that just makes the, this code a little bit trickier to write, maybe. Mm, maybe not. I mean, it is trickier, but you have to think about it because if you do the sorting and then you could just put it in the same thing anyway, it's just the sorting part. Um, so I don't know, right? Uh, but yeah, you, you were able to remove this one as an optimization and then you just have this. Uh, yeah, uh, let me show you the code real quick. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, leave a comment. And you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. Eight, three, zero, seven. Is it just greedy? Why, why are people getting the wall? It's not greedy because you have to look at stuff behind you. So the total impact is more than that. Right? 
Is it still not greedy though? What where am I missing though? Hmm. Kind of surprised it's not greedy, but I guess I'll get a wrong answer and then find out. It's not greedy, it's, it's probably going to be a DP, but I don't know how to think about it yet. I always forget what this one is. Okay, I did expect the wrong answer on this one because I don't. I couldn't figure out how to do greedy. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. Maybe it's still greedy, but I see. Hmm. Have you gotten it yet? Seems like an easy one to fix if it's right, but that's a good one. Okay. Here's a very weird looking one I know. Alright. Alright, not that bad. I uh, I forgot about that one. But okay. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Let me know what you think about this poem, leave a comment, 
I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.